What's up guys, for today's adventure we are in Covent Garden and we are going to get some drinks and some Anju Korean tapas. Let's go! Covent Garden is one of the prettiest districts in London. Located within walking distances from Piccadilly Circus and Trafalgar Square, Covent Garden is a must-see destination for anyone who visits London. The Cobble Market Piazza is where the charming Covent Garden Apple Market is. It used to be a world-famous fruit and vegetables market, but now houses independent traders selling British handmade crafts and goods. You'll be able to shop for beautiful prints, handmade jewellery, soaps, paintings and many other items. Next to the Apple Market is the Jubilee Market, where you will find a wide variety of artisan stores selling anything from jewellery and clothing to antiques and decorative items. Other than the Apple Market and the Piazza, Covent Garden offers great Instagram-worthy spots, such as Nils Yard. Entertainment-wise, you have the opportunity to book tickets for neighbouring musical or plays, visit nearby museums, or simply enjoy an amazing live performance from local artists, be it flame eaters, jugglers, opera singers, magicians, and many more. If you're looking for high-end designer goods, Covent Garden also boasts some of the best luxury stores in London, as well as upmarket fine delicacies. For skincare addicts who like to have the best bangs for their bucks, Covent Garden has a DCM shop which provides no gimmick skincare products at a fair price. Feeling thirsty or peckish? Fear not, as Covent Garden also hosts a wide selection of bars and restaurants. Some of them even have terrace service for those glorious summer days. There is also a lower courtyard which hosts additional restaurants, cafes and shops. Speaking of feeling peckish, we're hungry and it's time to get some food. On the bar is a Korean street food restaurant specializing in Anju, the Korean tradition of consuming alcohol with small dishes. They are most famous for their fried chicken, which comes in four flavors, which we will be ordering today. So I ordered some makgeolli. Makgeolli is a Korean rice wine, and you can see here it's a bit milky. Mm, it tastes pretty good. It's a bit fizzy, kind of bitter, but sweet at the same time. Pretty good, I'd say. Today we're having Korean fried chicken, and what goes best with fried chicken? Beer. That's some good beer as well. Ah, love it. I'm gonna try some fried dumpling with shrimp inside. You can see all this frying goodness here. Let's try with some vinegar. Mm, I love the taste of vinegar. You can see lots of veggies as well inside. Most likely spring onions. But it has a good freshness to it. Pretty good. And the shrimp taste is very strong. I love it. Very tasty. Let me have another bite. It's so good. Mm. Oh, yeah. I definitely recommend to try some here. I'm having a bun with fried chicken. You can find some cabbage, fried onions, fried chicken, spring onions, and some sauce in there. But you know what? It's going to get better with some more sauce. Whoa! Let's have a bite. Mm. It's so messy. The bun is very soft. It's a nice contrast with the fried chicken. The chicken is very crispy and um, the fried onions add to it as well. Oh my! And the extra sauce, not a mistake. I would 100% recommend this one. Mm. Let's dig into what we came for, the Korean fried chicken. 
we have here some garlic chicken. As you can see, all the sauce is coated around the chicken. This deep fried chicken looks pretty good. You have some crispy onions, I believe, on top. Mmm, looks pretty nice. Let's have a bite. Oh. Mm. Very crispy. Mm. The taste of the garlic is awesome. Each bite, you can actually feel it. Very tasty. Mm, I love it. I'm going to try the garlic chicken you know, with all the sauce on the outside. It's so crispy and juicy at the same time. And the sauce. Oh my god. You cannot be a vampire and come here to eat. Because there's so much garlic in the sauce. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Look at the size of that chicken! Wow, that's a big chicken! Okay, but this one is a soy sauce chicken. Really impressive by the size of it. It's like the size of my head. <laughs> soy sauce is strong in this one. It's very savory, very tasty. Mm. And what is good is that the chicken is not dry, so it's quite juicy. And with the crispiness outside, it was pretty good with it. Mm. You can feel the soy sauce around. It was pretty well with the chicken. Let's try this soy sauce chicken and some black and white sesame. Mm. Oh. That's soy sauce, what can I say? Mm. Not as good as the other ones. But Simple chicken, decent chicken. Mm. This is a spicy chicken, so you can see all the red sauce around. Red means spicy, pretty sure that's what it means here. And you can see a nice coating all around the chicken. Mm. I have it all around my mouth. But it's okay, it's not too spicy. Mm. It adds a nice taste to the chicken. Quite like it to be fair. Mm. You have some sesame on top as well. Mm. Oh, the sauce is sticky. <laughs> but pretty good. We've ordered some tteokbokki. Tteokbokki are some Korean rice cakes, but these ones are spicy. You can find inside some fish cakes. The texture is really squishy, very stretchy. But let's have a bite. It is a bit spicy, so be careful if you don't like spicy. But it tastes so good. It has a nice kick to it. Mm, it's all mushy. On the sides, they also have some salads made with cabbage and a special sauce on top of it. Oh. Mm. Oh, the sauce is delicious. I'm pretty sure it's not healthy, but eh, who cares? Look at all those spring onions! Wow! Okay, let's try not to be messy with this one. But this one is spring onion chicken, as you can see, obviously. But I'm trying, I will try to have a taste without making too much of a mess. Ah. This one has bones in it. But still as tasty as the others. It is a bit sweet and savory, but with the spring onions, it adds a freshness to it. Pretty good. Mm. We have some kimchi as well to cleanse the palate. Mm. Pretty good kimchi. Let me get a nice piece of spring onion chicken. Mm. It's a bit sweet, a little bit salty, very crunchy, and extremely juicy. Mm. It's good to perfection. Definitely recommend this one. So that's it for today's Yum Yum Adventure, guys. I hope you liked our Korean fried chicken. Please leave a comment below if you also like KFC and have nice places to recommend. Hit like, click subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Bye.